Okay, in this video, I'm actually going to show you how to replace your Roku remote with your smartphone. Now, you can actually do this with your Android phone or your Android tablet. You can also do it with an iPhone or an iPad. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to do it on an Android phone. There are many apps that you can download to do this. Some are free, some are paid apps. On iOS devices, your selection is a little bit more limited. You have one option for free and the rest are paid. And they're not that expensive. They range anywhere from $0.99 cents to $2.99. Now, as you can see here on my Android phone here, I have several options pulled up. And we're actually going to try the one that has the best rating on it, which is, I don't know if you can see it here, it says Roku Wi-Fi Remote. And that's how these remotes actually work. They work using Wi-Fi. As you can see, there are two free options here, Romote, Roku DVP Remote, and then the Roku Wi-Fi Remote, and there's several other options down here, but these are the top two, and Roku Wi-Fi Remote is not only free, but it has the highest rating. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this for the first time. I've never used it. I'm going to download this. All right, so I have it downloaded. Let me hit open on this, and let's see what it looks like here. Layout update. In order to make room for bigger buttons, the enter text and channel list buttons have moved to the main menu. Okay, sounds good to me. So as you can see over here on the device itself, you have some ads running, so it's an ad-supported app. And here are your control buttons here. Now, I actually had to manually connect the Android phone and the Android app here to the Roku. It would not connect with it using the automatic connect feature. So I had to manually connect it, which was pretty easy. All I had to do was go into the settings. Here, let me just show you. And I'm actually already using this. I go into the settings on the Roku device and look up the IP address and then enter it into this app here with the keyboard. And now I'm off and running, and as you can see, I'm controlling the Roku over here, which is really cool. So let's take a look at the menu here. I'm going to press the menu button here, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's an auto connect feature and a manual connect, and I use the manual connect as I explained, because the auto connect wouldn't work. You have the status bar feature here, which basically if you turn it on or off, it just shows you text here of what you've done. And then you have a channel feature here, so let's see what that does. Okay, it offers up all of my channels on the device here, so that's very cool. You can just jump to the actual channel you want to use on here. So let's hit Games for Roku, and it jumps right into it. Very nice. Let's check another one out. Let's click on Angry Birds. Now I'm interested to see if this will actually work with this device. I doubt it, but we'll see. The phone obviously has an accelerometer on it, but I doubt it's going to sync up to the Roku 2. And as you can see, I'm moving the phone, but there is no movement of the little hand there. So let's see if I can move it with the directionals. No, I can't. So obviously, as I thought, that wouldn't work on a Roku XS device, but pretty much everything else is going to work on a Roku. So let's go back to the uh, channel area here, and let's just go to, I don't know, let's see, um, Revision 3. So this is really an actual nice feature and an upgrade from the actual regular Roku remote to have this channel feature here so you can just jump to any channel that you want on your Roku device without actually having to scroll through that menu on the screen. You can just jump to it straight here from the menu. So that's really a cool and welcome upgrade. So as you can see, I'm in Netflix here, and I wanted to show you some of the options down here. Now, on Netflix, you can actually go to a search icon to search what the Netflix catalog has to offer. And if you wanted to enter text, you could actually click on this 
on the menu where it says enter text and you could search for something there. But the thing I really like on here is you actually have a search button down here so you don't have to go into a specified Netflix search icon. Just from anywhere here you can actually click on search here and right away look what pops up. Your Netflix search. Very, very cool. So now I have to enter text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the menu here and I'm going to click on enter text and I'm going to click here and enter something. Now you have the advantage of actually typing on this virtual keyboard here on your Android device instead of having to use the directional buttons to type on the Roku devices keyboard for Netflix over there. But the coolest thing of all is that you can actually use the Android voice to text. So I'm going to click on this. Take me home tonight. And then I'm going to hit submit over here. Very, very, very cool. So with the exception of not being able to play your motion control gaming on the Roku 2 device, this app is a definite upgrade to the actual Roku remote. It's just too bad at the moment that this app is not available and no other Roku remote control app is available currently for the Amazon Kindle Fire. And that's too bad because I find that I usually have the Kindle Fire with me when I'm watching TV because the size is perfect and it's really great to just look up things really quickly. So hopefully that's coming in the future to the Amazon App Store for Android. So that pretty much does it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.